The air in here is cold, ice cold, and even though I'm used to it, it will probably start to heat up in here as our two guests debate the question, as old as time, Team Edward or Team Jacob? Welcome back to the Twilight Hour. I'm your host, Stella Duck. Joining me today are Cedric Diggory. And for the first time ever in the studio, the real Taylor Lautner. Ow, ow, ow! Arguing their cases respectively for Edward and Jacob. How are you both feeling today? I'm ready to do whatever it takes to defend my pack. Sorry, what was that? I was smelling your scent. Oh, okay. Um, I was asking how you were feeling today. Are you ready to debate? Team Edward for life. Mm. All right, I will be moderating today's debate, um, which means I must remain an impartial, unbiased third party. I will start us with the first question. Who is better at controlling their impulses? Taylor, you begin. First of all, not even Batman could control Jacob. He's swift and he's strong, and he gets what he wants. The whole point of werewolves is that they can't control themselves when that moon appears. Even after all of this, Jacob still controls himself for Bella, even in the face of a cullen. Speak for yourself. Edward can take Jacob any day, but he doesn't for Bella, no matter how much he wants to. When Bella is in danger on the way to dinner, he gets her to safety without ruthlessly feasting on the blood of the bastards. The Cullens know all about controlling their impulses, even going so far as to figure out methods of ethical consumption. I mean, come on, if vampires can do it, so can you. Many good points are being brought up. Taylor Cedric does have a good point with the Cullens' dedication to limiting their resources, or their waste, and their impact on the environment with how they feed. What is your counter? Don't forget, Jacob belongs to the Quillette tribe who have been ethical in their consumption as standard practice for decades. They also don't have such materialistic views, unlike the Cullens. I can't even say who won this one, so I'll just move us on to the next question. Who knows Bella better? Of course it's Edward. He can sense when she's in danger. He can't read her mind, so of course he's confused by her at first, but he knows he loves her. And you can't really love someone without knowing them. Oh yeah? I bet he doesn't even know her favorite color. Jacob has known her since she was little. Her favorite color is black, like her soul. And it doesn't matter if Jacob knew her when she was little. That means nothing, since you were making mud pies or whatever. That's not true. Tell her, Bella. Uh, I'm, I mean, sorry, Stella. Don't you think he has a better idea of who she is since they grew up together? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Settle down, boys. I must remain impartial, remember? He knows his little spider monkey better than anyone. I'm sorry. That was so cheesy. Even for me. I actually do have to agree with him there. What happened to being impartial? Okay. Um, moving on to the next question. I actually I hesitate to ask this question because it might bring up some dangerous feelings. Say it. Who does Bella love more? Say whatever you want, but Jacob was always there for her when she needed him, even if she only ever came to him as a second option. It sounds like you just proved my point. Edward was always Bella's first choice. She said so herself that she wants to be with him forever. She could have, he, Jacob could have turned her away whenever she came to him second, after she broke his heart by being with Edward, but he didn't because he loved her. And there was also always a possibility that he would have a chance. What are you talking about? She marries Edward. Starts a family with him? There's no question. Are you forgetting? What are you talking about? Where was Edward in New Moon? How dare you? Edward only left to protect Bella. Some job he did. Meanwhile, Bella and Jacob were getting closer and closer. I'm gonna tear you to shreds. And I'm gonna burn the pieces. I'd like to see you try. Okay. Whoa. Stop it. Stop. No. Look at. Look at me. This isn't you. Look at me. Okay. Um. Due to some technical difficulties, we are going to have to stop the show here. Thank you for tuning in to the Twilight Hour. I'm your host, uh, Stella. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs>